visionary, principled, formidable, and affable, Felicia Tumisi is CEO and founder of one of Africa's leading food brands, Home Foods, and we take a journey to her home. Felicia's motivation to start her own business began at an early age when she attended a convent school in Elmina in the central region of Ghana. At the age of eight, I was in charge of the storehouse. I became very independent very early and the sisters saw in me my competence. And you give me instructions, I'll follow it by letter. And uh, when school reopens, your friends don't turn up and you ask why daddy died and mommy cannot take care of them. Why not mommy? Mommy is not working. So at that particular, at that very tender age, just when I told myself I'm going to be independent. In 1995, on her kitchen table, Felicia decided to set up a food processing and packaging company. Home Foods was born. With food, whether you are poor or rich, you have to eat. And so I chose food and I told myself, what do we use in the kitchen every day? And I realized the dynamics of food. Tomatoes you use every day, especially in our, in our society. You use onions every day. You use oil every day. And so I chose that and I said, no, let me choose oil. So I chose palm oil. Palm oil is very common. You can always, it's available. And on our market, that's when I chose Pamela. And she certainly didn't get the option wrong. But what would change the future of Home Foods would be a dream she had. I had a very interesting dream mm. that uh, after a month, I saw containers moving out of a yard. I told the staff and she started laughing at me. He said, how can it be possible? But I said, it's possible. And so um, in 1995 was when I got my letters written and then went to the embassy and I got one particular uh, importer replying that yes we can do business and he ordered Henry cartons and it was tough and I started it with a rented home with one staff and my daughter. Today she owns a state-of-the-art factory and exports thousands of cartons of food products not just processed oil to Europe the United States and some African countries. I mean, listening to you, you seem to be a person full of ideas. Yeah. And uh, usually you hear people say that, you know, a very good idea is where you need to start a business. But then there's a challenge with finance as well. Was finance ever a challenge for you starting Home Foods? No. Finance, <laughs> finance has never been my issue. Um, when I started Home Foods, you know, we are four girls and I'm the last one and uh, they all say mommy likes me very well. But because I was the last one left at home, I became very close with my mom. mom my mom was my friend. It wasn't my only mom, which was my friend. And whenever you are leaving, mom gave me a trinket. So I sold the trinket. And before she died two years ago, she asked me, where is the trinket I gave you? I sold the trinket at that time, made $500. At that time, $500 was the same as... 600 Ghana cities now. It was a lot of money at that time. That's when I started my business with. The passion of the Harvard Business School graduate and mother of three to steer home foods to be the multi-million dollar company that it is has put her on the international spotlight. In May this year, Home Foods was awarded Premium Food Product of the Year at the Africa Brands Leadership Merit Awards in Nigeria. Aside expanding in Ghana, Felicia has got her eyes on Africa. But we've been doing very well in Equatorial Guinea, Gambia, and then Kivet. We tried to get it to Kivet, and uh, now East Africa. But interestingly, when we got into East Africa, most of our food they've never seen before. They've never used palm oil, they never used gari. So I was telling them, I said, never use agushi, they don't know contumery. In Uganda, and Kam I went to Kampala, and uh, I saw a lot of contumery. They don't use it. So they told me it's poisonous, and I said no. <laughs> You know, so we plan to go there next year and actually establish an office there and teach them how to cook that we can sell our product. Because you have Nigeria, West Africans, but they are not in numbers. We want to catch the whole East Africa. Felicia does not only process food, she's got taste for good food as well. That's the show this week. Don't forget to catch the Joy Business Van next week.